Okay, so this band was suggested to me. This is band made. Uh, I've never heard these guys before. Never actually heard any of their music. Never even knew they existed until it was suggested to me. But band made is, from what I can Google, from what I've gathered via information via the Wikipedia page, a Japanese metal band that have taken uh, a made waitress type style and adapted it into heavy metal music. And each different band member's gimmick, each individual uniform has their own personality so this is thrill i imagine this is going to be like baby metal i wasn't keen on baby metal i thought it was gimmicky and cheap but i'm holding reserving no judgment here i'm just going to go straight in press the play button give you guys a reaction and tell you what i think Okay. Mm, okay, okay. Okay, okay, so it's not baby metal like. It's stylistically speaking, it's not like baby metal at all. Baby metal I found to be repetitive, loud irritating to the point where it was there were some good riffs in there but it was just over the top Japanese well you know what Japanese are like when it comes to, to things like they get overexcited, they get over the top and sometimes it can be like mm, too much, this is clearly a band that wants to be taken very seriously not gimmicky at all they've got nice groove there nice rhythm going, this lady can clearly sing very well Throwing in some English with Japanese there, that's a bit bizarre, but maybe that's just them trying to capture the the English audience because God knows English speakers aren't the most diverse people in the world, so they're trying to hook them in, I suppose. Another thing coming. It's got vibes of sort of pretty reckless sort of any of the modern modern female fronted rock bands that we have in the west or in the uk or in the usa or wherever you're from it's got those kind of vibes that kind of style but it's obviously just in japanese with the odd english word thrown in these ladies are obviously incredibly talented they're obviously not they're not just here for a gimmick in fact from what i can see these guys have got about six albums so they're not actually one hit wonders. They are actually very serious career musicians who want to be taken seriously. The problem I have with bands like this that don't sing in my native language, I don't know any other languages. That's that, that's completely on me. It's not a judgment on the, on the bands themselves. I don't know any other languages. So it's difficult for me to get into bands sing languages that are foreign to me. I find it much harder to develop a like for that band. I've had the trouble that trouble with Ramstein, for instance. I like Ramstein. I like the sound. I like the attitude and the energy of the music. I just struggle to get into it because it's not in English. And the same with Sabaton. Saw Sabaton live back in January uh, of 20, uh, 2020. Was it January? 
late not late 2019, early 2020, I believe it was. I saw them live. Fantastic. But they got an album that half the album is in Swedish and the other half is in English. I don't know Swedish. So that half of the album that was in Swedish was very hard for me to get into. Very hard for me to actually discover and actually enjoy a lot. So it was a barrier for me. I'm not going to lie. And that's, that, that, that's, that's entirely on me. It's not, on, not, not a reflection on Sabaton or Ramstein or on Bandmate at all. So... Just a comment on the music video, it's very plain, white background, just the band singing. I feel like this is, they're at a stage in their career now where they can maybe do something a bit more stylistically and artistically with the music videos. I understand if you're an early band, you just want to expose the band and how they play and what they do and their image and all that kind of thing. That I get, if you're an early, early band, just, just getting started, maybe it's your first or second album. The just the band performing song footage, I understand. But by this point, these guys are five or six albums deep. It strikes me as a bit lazy. It's the same, I have the same feeling with music videos purely being live footage. It strikes me as a bit lazy. I like bands to go out and actually direct a music video, but that's just me. Oh, here we go. That was very impressive. That had that had smatterings of slash scattered throughout it. That was very good. I like that song. Though. Okay, so I was pleasantly surprised by that. It's not like baby metal at all. These are obviously very serious musicians who want to be taken seriously. They're not even metal, I wouldn't say. They're more hard rock. The solo was immense. That was a brilliant solo in that song. The style, stylistically, it reminds me of bands like the Pretty Reckless, In This Moment, other kind of female-fronted rock bands that we have in the West. So it's clearly a westernised style of music that they're playing. Clearly very talented ladies. However, with the language barrier, I would struggle to get into this band. If there's any other songs by this band that you guys like, or you enjoy and want to see me react to, go ahead and drop a comment. I'll try and check it out for you guys. See if we can expand my horizons musically. But thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.